Today we will visit one of the most unusual planetariums, which is located in the former gas holder, a huge gas storage facility built in the 19th century. The gas from this gas holder was used to fuel the street lamps of St. Petersburg. At the end of the 19th century, gas street lights were gradually replaced by electric street lights, and such huge gas holders were no longer necessary. Next to the planetarium, there are technical buildings that are used as offices by various IT companies that are engaged in the development of waste sorting technologies, robotics, etc. The planetarium itself is located directly in the former gas storage facility. The diameter of the planetarium dome is 37 meters, which equals 121 feet. It's one of the largest planetariums in Russia. Every visit to the planetarium always makes you think about the tininess of our world, lost in the vastnesses of the universe, among trillions of stars. For decades, scientists have been trying to find traces of intelligent life in the vastnesses of space, but so far, unfortunately, to no avail. If even one civilization is found in space, it will fundamentally change our life on planet Earth. This will be a serious blow to the ideological and religious dogmas of our civilization. There will be no logical sense of waging wars for territories, for spheres of influence, because in the scale of the universe the Earth is just a grain of sand. And people who live on this grain of sand, and who think that they are very significant persons residing in the center of the universe, senselessly spend huge efforts, resources and human lives to get additional microns on the surface of this grain of sand at their disposal, instead of investing all their efforts in the development of technology and science. In my opinion, visiting a planetarium should become a regular practice for every human being.